I know you want to record and stream using your Logitech C920 in 1080p. I got you covered. Here's all the settings and everything you need to know with OBS. There are a few prerequisites that I need you to do before we get started on this tutorial. First of all, do you own the camera yet? If not, link in the description below. It is an affiliate link to buy the most popular webcam of all time, the Logitech C920. Make sure you have Google searched for Logitech G Hub. You have installed the Logitech G Hub software and you have configured it. And you need to be double checking in your device manager to make sure your drivers are updated. If none of that made sense, if you don't know what I'm talking about with any of those things, no worries. Link in the description below to my Logitech C920 tutorials playlist. I just detail exactly how to do all that stuff and you'll get a maximum quality foundation like you can see right here with my C920 for you to get started in your broadcasting ventures, okay? You wanna start with a good foundation before you go setting broadcasting settings. I'm gonna disappear because right behind me is our next step on this tutorial for 1080p streaming and recording settings tab here in OBS. Always start, my friends, in the settings tab. Okay, first stop, video tab right over here. That's where we're gonna set our resolution and our frame rate. 1080p is this, 1920 by 1080. I'm coming back. Then for your scaled resolution, it's 1920 by 1080. So what you see on the screen basically will be what is outputted in the recording and the live stream if you do these settings. Depending on your computer, most of you guys will wanna select 36 samples for your downscale filter. And I only recommend doing 30 frames per second for 1080p, simply because this camera is capped at 30 frames per second in 1080p. If you have gameplay or something going in 60 frames in the background, Cool, you can do that. But just keep in mind that your Logitech C920 is capped at 30 frames per second in 1080p. It does not go higher, even if you try to force it above that. Hit apply, but do not yet hit OK. Next up is the audio tab right over here. Real quick, I recommend disabling all audio devices here. Why? Because when you manually add your camera and anything else, uh, it'll pull up a ton of unnecessary and confusing audio devices down here in the mixer area. You don't want that. So disable all your devices, okay? And then select your sample rate as the sample rate of your microphone. Cool? Great. Hit apply, but do not yet hit OK for this tutorial. Your next step is going to go output tab. Once you go to output tab, that's where all your juicy settings are for 1080p stuff. All right, this is going to default in terms of your output mode on simple. You don't want simple today, you want advanced. Let's go into advanced and really tweak in the settings because I, we double your audio quality here with these settings, I promise, so wait for that part, okay? At least, at the very least, you're gonna want that. So for your encoder, I want you to select the NVIDIA NVENC encoder if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. If you don't, that's okay you're gonna use the 264 variant. So it'll be X264, H264, whatever it is. Select that if that's what you have. Otherwise, do the NVIDIA one if you have an NVIDIA card. Do not enforce streaming in service encoder settings. Don't do that. Then for your rate control, you're gonna to wanna to do CBR is my recommendation. That's constant bit rate means a consistent quality is what that means essentially. For your bitrate, try to get up to 6,000 for streaming. 6,000 is the maximum that most platforms can handle for 1080p 30 FPS streams, 6,000. And for your keyframe interval, start at zero. There are other configurations you can do depending, but zero is good for 95% of you guys watching. The rest of these settings down here are for NVIDIA users only. Real quick, those are max quality for preset. Profile, high, look ahead, no, do not do look ahead, bad. Psycho visual tuning, yes, click that, that is good. Cool, hit apply, but do not yet hit okay because we need to do our recording settings. So the recording tab is right up here. So under the recording tab, we need to go through a similar process, but the difference this time is you gotta select a folder that your recordings are gonna drop into using browse. So click browse, choose a storage folder, so I have the D drive on mine, that's my storage folder, then what you're gonna do is select your recording format. I prefer MP4, because every video editing software ever can use MP4. Some people will disagree with me on that, fight me. MP4 is what I'd like to use. Okay, audio track 
is one. I check number one here. That's probably all you need for 95% of you guys watching this. For your encoder, it's gonna be the same as whatever you did last time in the streaming tab. NVIDIA, if you got it, if not, the 264 variant. Cool, scroll down. Your settings are gonna be slightly different down here. You can actually bump up the quality for recordings versus streams. So your rate control is gonna be constant bit rate. But for your bit rate itself, Go, you can go 8,000 if you want. You can go up to like 12,000 if you want right here. 16,000 if you really want to push it super high, but I'd say between 8,000 and 12,000 is the sweet spot range for 1080p 30 FPS recordings, 8,000 to 6,000 bit rate for your keyframe interval zero. Once again, the rest of these settings are for NVIDIA people only for the most part. Uh, your preset is max quality. Your profile is high. No look ahead, yes, psycho visual tuning. All right, then you're gonna hit apply down here at the bottom, but you're not yet going to hit okay because I promised you earlier I would double your audio quality. Uh, you're welcome. Let's go do that right now under the audio tab right up top here. Did you know that audio tab was even there? Most people don't even check it. Your audio bit rate is gonna be probably defaulting to 160 on all these knobs here. Why would you do 160? When you could double your audio bit rate to 320, do it. 320, 320, 320. Uh, 160 is like a low to mid tier MP3. 320 is like a super high quality MP3. Why are you limiting your quality for no reason? Why would you do that? No reason to do it. Double your quality. You're welcome. Hit apply. And now you can hit OK. Now, what about adding the actual webcam? As you can see, mine's already added. Let me just take it away. Let's go through that process together. Go to sources down here, hit the plus button. Boom, and then go ahead and hit the video capture device. That's what we're gonna be adding today. Name it whatever you want. Um, you, I'll just add mine. I'll call mine 920, you call yours whatever you want. And then you're gonna get this menu. Bunch of settings here we wanna look at. Drop down menu, HD Pro Webcam 9 C920 is what you want, of course. But notice how the image will default as a square image. That is not what you want. So we need to do some settings down here to fix that. Under Resolution FPS Type, choose Custom. The image will disappear. That's normal. Do the drop-down menu for resolution. It's going to offer you some crazy options like in the 2000s. You don't want that. Do 1920 by 1080. That is the maximum this camera can actually give you. And for your FPS, I'm, I recommend manually selecting 30. Manually selecting 30, then you can now hit OK. And so now, your webcam should automatically be full screen like this behind you because we already set your canvas size to 1920 uh, by 1080, 1080p. So now you have a 1080p webcam and a 1080p canvas with 1080p streaming, with 1080p recording, Last couple notes here on how to actually <laughs> stream and record, right? So I'm going to disappear because those buttons are right over here, guys. Start streaming is right here and start recording is right there. If you want to start that stream and start that recording and you might be asking, well, hold on a wall. How do I choose my streaming platform? Good point. Go back to settings. Once you're ready to do that settings right down here and then you're going to go, I'm coming back. You're going to go right over to the stream tab right over here. Now, I'm not going to go over every single platform in the history of streaming because they change all the time, but you're going to select your service, YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, Restream, Twitter, you name it, DLive, Trovo, whatever it may be, all right here. And for new streamers, I recommend just manually connecting your account uh, using the login process. If you don't want to do that, you can use a stream key and every platform you can go into the producer dashboard or the live stream dashboard or whatever they call it for that platform and go find the thing called the stream key. Copy that and then paste it right here into the stream key field. And once you do that, hit apply and then hit OK. And that platform will be locked in as your streaming option so that I'm disappearing so that when you hit the start streaming button right over here, it'll just punch your signal in on that platform automatically. I'm coming back because you set that up. Cool, does that make sense? Once again, link below to the C920 if you have not already bought it. That's my affiliate link. You pay the same price and I get a commission if you buy it. Thank you for supporting the channel. And also, tutorials playlist below to other C920 related tutorials if you're looking to do other stuff 
with this insanely popular webcam. I've recorded 700 videos on it. It's a beast of a webcam for the dollar even today. Adios. Have fun.